I want to show you a little bit about what we mean when we're talking about reducing a combination circuit. So here I have an example circuit. It's actually a kind of complex. It's got seven different resistors in it. Some are in series and some are in parallel. And if you watch the videos on identifying series sections and parallel sections, it should jump out to you right away that this section down here is a series section because it's along one path with no junctions in it. And I could fairly quickly figure out that for that particular section, I'm going to end up having my 2 ohm plus my 2 ohm, which is going to give me 4 ohms. So that's the combination here of R6 and R7. But when we actually want to reduce the circuit, we want to go just a step further. See, it's if I've taken this section of the circuit and replaced it instead with a single value of one resistor. Trying to get back to where I can draw. I'm going to have just a single 4 ohm resistor there. And I'm not very good at typing, so we'll just leave that off. So what happens here is that that section actually goes away, and I've replaced it with the equivalent resistance. At that point, I can see that this new 4 ohm resistor and this old 4 ohm resistor are actually in parallel together. And that means I'm going to have a new section here where I'm going to have 1 over 1 over 4 ohm ohms plus 1 over 4 ohms. And that's going to give me 2 ohms. In this case, the numbers are easy enough. I could work it out in my head. In a lot of cases, you're going to actually have to plug that into a calculator. So that was the parallel combination of this one and this one. So when I go to reduce the circuit, again, I'm going to want to actually have this part of the circuit replaced with my new values that come in here have my resistor and then connect up back with the circuit. And this is now 2 ohms because I've replaced the section of the circuit which had those more complicated things. You would continue this working with different sections of the circuit. So now this one and this one are in series. This one and this one are in series. And you would continue on down, reducing it until you end up with just one resistor and the battery as your equivalent circuit. If you have questions about how to reduce a circuit, ask. Each particular circuit that you're going to look at, you're going to follow a different pattern. But first, look for, are there any series sections? If so, yes, replace them with the equivalent resistance. Are there any parallel sections? Yes, replace them with the equivalent one. Once you've gotten some of the equivalent ones in there and you've redrawn the circuit, then look again. Is there anything in series? Is there anything in parallel? And do your calculations until you're able to actually reduce the entire circuit down to just a single thing. I'm not going to make videos for all the way through this circuit or for the other circuits, but you've got some typed out PDF files that take some of these complex circuits and break them down step by step, reducing it until you get the final circuit equivalent resistance.